Today's workout is a 400 meter run, 25 pull-ups, 50 push-ups. 800 meter run, 15 pull-ups, 30 push-ups. 1600 meter run, 10 pull-ups, 20 push-ups. I'm gonna start by going over the movements. I'm gonna give you some modifications. We'll chat strategy and then we're gonna get after it. For our pull-ups today, let's make sure that we start at full extension at the bottom, pull the chin clearly over the bar at the top. For our push-ups, coming down to the ground, chest touches, hip stays off the ground, finishing back at full extension. Now, for modifications today, if we can't run, let's go row, bike, ski. For our pull-ups, we could go with banded pull-ups, ring rows, or bent over row. And for the push-ups, feel free to go on your knees or on an elevated surface. For strategy, let's dive a little bit deeper. All right, so we have a little up the ladder, down the ladder type of workout today. For many of you, it's gonna be your first time running, so maybe take it a little bit slower than you think you need to on that first 400. Now, for the pull-ups and the push-ups, I think this is kind of a big trap here, and don't get obsessed with big sets on the pull-ups or the push-ups. In fact, I would probably break everything in that first round into manageable sets knowing that most of this workout will be spent either outside running or rowing, biking, and skiing. Remember when we're doing body weight movements, it's incredibly important to hold that high standard. So again, don't be afraid to break things up early and often. And if you feel good on the run, let's try and kind of negative split it, right? You can come out a little bit slower on the 400, maybe a little bit faster on that eight, and then really try and kick it on the 1600. It's gonna be really hard if you come out of the gate and sprint 400 and try and hold on. Let's get after it. Yeah. 